Once, I lived in a world where dreams and reality clashed, fighting for dominance in the symphony of my life. My journey began as a boy named Peter Dyson, with a heart full of melodies and a voice eager to soar through the grand stages of the world. Singing was my refuge, my identity, and my dream. Yet, despite my passion and relentless efforts, the path to recognition was a road riddled with rejection and heartache. My voice, unique in its timbre, struggled to find a place in the rigid norms of the music industry. Time and again, I stood before judges, poured my soul into auditions, only to be turned away with a sympathetic shake of the head or a generic, you've got talent, but you're not what we're looking for. The dissonance between my identity and the reflection in the mirror grew louder with each passing day. The realization that I was not meant to live as Peter Dyson, but as someone far truer to the person singing in my heart, became undeniable. It was during this tumultuous period of introspection and discovery that I embarked on the most transformative journey of my life, transitioning from the boy the world saw me as, to the woman I had always known myself to be. Hormone therapy was the prelude to my rebirth. Each day brought subtle changes, a gradual harmonization of my body and soul. My voice, once a source of my greatest disappointments, began to transform into an instrument capable of expressing the full spectrum of my emotions. Surgery followed, not as an end, but as a continuation of my journey towards authenticity. It was as if I had been a caterpillar, cocooned in a reality that never fit, and now, I was emerging as a butterfly, ready to show my true colors to the world. As I healed, my music evolved. I wrote from places of pain and joy, from experiences both bitter and sweet. My songs became anthems of my journey, resonating with truths that I had once thought I'd have to whisper in the shadows. I shared my music online, not as Peter Dyson, but as Petra, a woman reborn into the light of her true self. To my astonishment, the world listened. Where doors had once been closed, windows opened. My voice, once overlooked, now captivated audiences far and wide. People connected with my story, with the authenticity and raw emotion that pulsed through my music. My transition had not only given me the gift of living as my true self but had also unlocked the depths of my artistry that Peter Dyson could never reach. Fame came as a gentle wave, not the tidal force I had once craved. It was a recognition not just of my music, but of my journey, my resilience, and the universal message of finding and embracing one's true self. I performed on stages I had once only dreamed of, not just as a singer, but as a beacon of hope for others walking their own difficult paths. Reflecting on my journey, I see now that my initial failures were not the universe rejecting me, but guiding me towards my truth. I was never meant to make it as a singer in the guise of Peter Dyson, for it was Petra who held the key to unlocking the melody of my soul. In embracing my true self, I found not only my voice but my wings. And with these wings, I fly high above the landscape of my past, singing my truth for the world to hear, a symphony of hope, resilience, and transformation.